Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we have something very exciting to show you guys from the Four Seasons Helios range. Stay tuned. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got a bit ahead of ourselves here and we have completely assembled this panel, but here it is. This is the 1000 watt Helios. Not to be confused with the Elite Series, this is the successor to the 800X. So this thing is an absolute weapon with a few key changes that we'll get into shortly, but I thought I'd just cover what actually comes with the box and what the box looks like. So I'll just grab that real quick just over here. Sexy brown box, just the way everyone likes it. You have LED completely flat packs into there, nice and safe. All the components slip into these nice little brown cardboard boxes that go within that box, of course, with all of the accessories and some foam, so you know it's gonna get to you safe. But let's just quickly cover what you actually get with this panel. Alrighty, so you will find at the top of your box when you cut it open, the LED quick start guide. So that'll help you get up and running if you didn't find we covered enough in the video. We've got a full set of ratchet hangers here, so that's one per corner of the LED for adjusting it up and down, makes set up a breeze. We have a communications cable, so just to mention, not everyone is gonna use this. This cable is there to connect your light to something like a master controller and allow the master controller to regulate your light. So most people probably aren't gonna use that, just so you know. There's gonna be a small packet of these silver nuts here, so those are going to bolt the LED driver down on the back of the panel, which you would have seen in the previous shot. We have a interconnecting cable from the driver to the panel, there's two of those, so that powers, sends power from the driver to the LED itself and then we have the power cable to the driver. So everything is plug and play effectively and it all screws together nice, which I will cover soon. But first, let's get into the specs and features of this absolute animal. Okay, so if it's not obvious, the aesthetics have changed for the Helios. They're following a similar design language as the Quantums, which is this gorgeous black aesthetic that we absolutely love to see. But beyond the black aesthetic, we have these brushed aluminium inserts on the back of the LED bars. Look stunning, four seasons etched into there with commercial grow light, so you know it's good stuff. Rolling around on the black aesthetic to the front and back edge of the panel is this blue stencil, looks fantastic. Right on the edges they've put some round end caps, so that softens the edges of these panels a fair bit, which is good when you've got a lot of these panels sort of bunched together, gives them something to rest against. Now the driver itself, while it might look similar to the original Helios design, it's obviously packing 1000 watts of potential here, so a kilowatt of power is nothing to scoff at. The LED bars themselves, while they might look evenly spaced on camera, they are not. They've actually made some adjustments to the spacing of these panels, and what's that basically benefited for a lot of our clients is it's evenly spaced the light distribution, which has seen improvements for our PAR maps and really reducing the hotspot directly beneath the panel. They've also seen some changes to the LED diode formation on these bars, because they're now LM301H Samsung diodes, which we absolutely love to see. They've changed the way they're spaced, so that's also seen some improvements in light distribution. Now the bars themselves, in terms of assembly for a lot of people, they had these pop-in clips. They have made some changes to those pop-in clips, which is also a nice benefit to see. But let's go into a little more detail and take a closer look at the driver. And here we are, the powerhouse that makes this LED possible. So within this box here are a full set of drivers. Now keeping in mind that with 1000 watts of input, you wanna make sure that all of your connections and terminals are secure, which is why on all of the Helios generation, they use threaded plugs. So once you screw those in there, they're not going anywhere and they only go one way. So you'll see on the front side here, we've got two outputs. So that's gonna be feeding down into the LED to power it. And feeding the box itself on the back side is the power cable. So that's a three pin standard power cable that you're gonna be putting into your timer to control your light. Now, keeping in mind with this driver as well, they have upgraded the dimmer module on them. So this is now featuring the 10% increment dimmer adjustment, which is absolutely fantastic. Keeps it really simple to use and really simple to adjust. Now, besides that is the input and output terminals. Now, those are there for that communication cable. Let me see if I can just find that over here, just to give you a quick example. So this communication cable, like I said earlier, you're gonna use this to connect your LED panel to a control system. Quite simple, really. You're gonna turn the dial to EXT, which means external control, and you're just gonna pop that on the input 
plug and then that's going to run off to your master controller and then the output will link onto the next light and the next light and so on so they're all controlled through the one system. Again not many people are going to do that but we thought we'd just mention that. So keeping in mind our general recommendation when it comes to the LED or the use of the dimmer for instance would be half power for veg and full power for flower. Now for most people that works as a great guideline to get you up and running but please be aware with a panel this powerful when you dial that up to full power it is a lot of intensity and you need to make sure your plants are responding well to such intensity so just keep that in mind these are really high performance LEDs. Now the driver itself that's going to bolt down to two of the LED bars here so two of these LED bars are going to have a set of posts poking up adjustable ones and you're going to line up the driver and just plonk it on the top and tighten it down with those thumb screws that I mentioned earlier so that's going to keep it nice in place you don't want anything wiggling around. So not to forget that this particular panel does have the certification stickers on the top and of course a warning because you just want to make sure that all of these LED bars are plugged in and set up before you actually power the panel up. Now with a bit of a top down view you can actually see that there's quite a large space between these panels and even larger space sorry between the two LED bars directly under the driver and it does get shorter and shorter and shorter out to those edges and as I mentioned this is there to improve that saturation and spread of your light because with a panel so intense the intensity really does pick up directly below the panel and this is a design or algorithmically designed sorry to push that intensity further out and it does make a difference so that has been a huge benefit and I will just touch on these clips actually because they are fantastic so there's actually a little thumb um, switch you could call it push that in lift push that in lift and the panel comes out like so. So it's not gonna be very often you have to pull these apart, of course, but it does really help when you do need to do that. So nice improvement in that regard. But what really makes these panels shine is the diode. So as I mentioned earlier, these are the Samsung LM301H. So H for horticulture. They are as good as it gets for LED grow lights and we're really happy to see them on pretty much the entire Four Seasons range. They work so darn well. So when you take a closer look at this panel, you've got 3000K and 5000K in that Samsung diode. Brilliant, that's gonna make up the bulk of this entire LED. Scattered in between those, we've got 660 and 730 Osram diode. So that's there to bump up that red wavelength and help enhance that photosynthesis for flowering. That's the main purpose of those. Now, when you actually take a closer look at this panel, the diodes are actually staggered or algorithmically staggered as some would say. And what that means is we've got more diodes closer together further out on the edges so again that's another improvement to see this panel enhance its uh, spread and reduce the direct intensity below the panel and help ensure that that PPF is as even as possible for such a powerful panel in a relatively compact size. While this panel is absolutely huge, at 1000 watts input, you will be flowering a 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter space, no problems at all. You can definitely get more out of this panel, but at 1.5, you're gonna be absolutely laughing at the results you're gonna get here. It's gonna be fantastic. So with that in mind, these panels do clip together nice and easy, but I'm gonna show you real soon just how that goes together. Okay, so I've just completely disassembled the panel in about 30 seconds, it is that easy. So I'm gonna show you how it goes together. Obviously, no tools required, it all just clicks together. But when you do unpackage everything out of their boxes, this is pretty much the core components that you're gonna be working with. So I'm just gonna take this driver, which is the main weight of the panel, and just put that out of the way. So I'll show you the best way to put these together, and that's starting with the two end rails. So what you're gonna do is just space them apart, doing it on a floor is probably better than a table okay now when you lay out all your bars you are going to notice there are two bars that have these little screws poking out we're going to leave those till last so I'm just going to push them to the side I'm going to take one of the regular bars and I'm going to clip it right at the very end of the rail so this thing is huge try and make some space to clip that in there so that's one now I wonder if I can reach across there one there all right so we've now got this really nice square shape so everything is just going to click in nice and easy now to also mention these can actually go in either way there's no problem there universal doesn't matter which way you install them the light is going to work fine but for the sake of aesthetics we're going to line up all the logos so i'm just going to pop that one in there in there Okay, so 
Now we've only got the two center bars left. And like I said, they've got these little screw posts for mounting the driver box. So that's just gonna go right in the center. Like so. Now the best way to assemble the driver or drop the driver on top, I'll just move that there, is just take those little screws and push them all the way out to the edges. Now just take note, one of these end rails is going to have those plugs that connect from the driver box. So I generally recommend having those two plugs face each other. So that's gonna just sit right on the top here, like so. Just line that up. There we go, it's one end. And that's the other end, just like that. And again, just screwing it down with those little thumb screws to keep it in place. So really easy to set up. So that's the panel completely snapped together. So all that's left is connecting the cables from the driver box to the LED ends. And then from there, the power cable in the back end of the driver, and then we're ready to string it up. So I'll show you really quickly just how those adjustable ratchet hangers clip onto this panel. Okay, so on the inner side of these rails here, you're gonna see these nice little fasteners or hooks. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one of our ratchet hangers like so, and I'm gonna take the big bulky end, and I'm just gonna snap that on like so. So you're gonna do that to all four corners, and then from there it is ready to string up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you out to the showroom, and I'm gonna swap this panel into one of the tents. All right, so we're out here in the showroom. Now we are running low on real estate. We actually haven't got much space to set up these lights. So what we're gonna do here is we've got our 2.2 by 1.2 Eclipse Elite Grow Tent here. We've got a 640X and an 800X. So we've got our successor here, the 1000 watt. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna swap out this 800X. So I'm gonna leave the hangers here, but I will show you how those go together just so you know how to completely install the LED. So just bear with me while I pull this absolute behemoth down. Where do, where do I start? Okay, start by turning it off. Help. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna take the way? Yes, thank you. Okay, now it's just one hanger left. Cool. Oh, easy as that. Just in and out. No worries. I mean, most people, when you set these up, you're probably not gonna have plants in there anyway and you're actually gonna be able to get in there because I wouldn't recommend doing that. But let's try now to set up this absolute weapon. And again, this, this light is for like a 1.5 by 1.5 grow space minimum. So realistically, this is well oversized, but for the sake of demonstration, if you wanna come have a look here, how this hanger's actually set up. So I'll just pop that off so you can see. All right, so. This end will be hooked on to your LED, but in this case I'm doing it backwards. So I'm gonna take this little end here, we're just gonna go up to the top of the tent. I'm just gonna hoop that over the top, clip it back onto itself. So that's just going off the roof structure of the tent. Obviously, if you've got hooks in the ceiling, same dealio, just hook them up like that. So I'm going to try to be smart about this. Hook that on, hook that on. There we go. I will adjust the hangers in a minute, but just trying to get this inside the actual tent. Now that we've got it strung up, I've of course forgotten to connect the cables to make things difficult on myself, so stand by, I'm just gonna get that sorted. All right guys, well I hope I've made that look nice and easy because realistically it should be, particularly in a tent that doesn't have plants beneath it, it's gonna be hard work. But for most people you're starting fresh, you're gonna have a larger tent than this. So setting it up as a breeze, especially if you've got a mate to help you out. But with a panel this size, we have, we do recommend at least 45 centimeters from the canopy because the intensity is gonna be up there. In this case, we've just tuned the dimmer down a little bit to keep the tomatoes happy because again, thousand watts of uh, input here, you're gonna be getting some really good flowering results in at least a 1.5 by 1.5 tent. So we really look forward to seeing what sort of numbers people are gonna get from these things, especially if you're supplementing CO2 and the likes to really increase the performance of what this has to offer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch with us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.